So in this video, we're going to talk about one of the most important transfer matrices there is, uh, the thin lens transfer matrix, or ABCD matrix. And why is this so important? Well, because we like to use lenses in optics. They're the most important component, and we want to know how they behave. So we want to know if we've got some incoming ray into the lens, uh, how does it change as it exits the lens? So how does its position change if it's got a certain height when it enters the lens? And how, most importantly, how does its angle change? So how does this theta new change? And you might say, well, how are we, how are we gonna figure this out? Well, what is a lens, first of all? So let's, let's zoom in on this thing called a lens. Um, we'll see that it's some curved surface. Uh, usually it's a spherical curved surface just because uh, they're easier to manufacture with some radius of curvature R1 and then some other curved surface with maybe a different radius of curvature, maybe the same one, um, R2. And in between, we've got some thickness to the lens and it's made out of some medium, so some, uh, like usually glass, uh, and this glass has a refractive index n, and this n is in general a function of wavelength, but we just treat it as a single, um, single number. And so we might say, hey, uh, I know how to deal with curved interfaces. I know if I've got some ray uh, with some theta in and some x in, I know how to deal with a curved interface. We can write down the transfer matrix for that. Uh, so let's say R tilde. Um, the transfer matrix for a curved interface is just 1, 0, uh, n1 minus n2 over n2r, uh, n1 over n2, where n1 is this media uh, before entering the or on the left-hand side of the curved surface, and N2 is the media on the right-hand side of the curved surface. And then we also know the propagation matrix, so if we want to propagate by a distance T, um, but if we're dealing with a thin lens, then we usually assume this distance T is zero. So for a thin lens, all we care about is traveling through the first uh, curved surface, then traveling through the second curved surface. So let's call this one R1, and now we just need a second curved surface. So after we pass through the first, so after our ray gets modified in whatever way, uh, maybe now it looks like a straight ray, now we need to know how it behaves when it comes out of this second surface. So we need a second transfer matrix for surface two, which is the same exact, uh, it's got the same exact form as the first transfer matrix, except now the ends are flipped. So N1 minus N2 uh, becomes N2 minus N1, just because N2 is now on the left-hand side and N1 is now on the right-hand side, uh, divided by N1 R2, and then N2 over N1. And so all we need to do now is combine these two. So since our ray vector, uh, X in, theta in, first gets acted on by R1, because we're first passing through the R1 surface, and then gets acted on by R2, then our overall transfer matrix for our thin lens is just R2, R1. And so we can just write down what that is, and we can calculate it. And so let's just do that multiplication real quick. So first we would need the top row times the left column. So that would be one zero times one that, so one. Uh, and then top row, second column, zero. Uh, now the bottom row, and this is gonna be the important one because uh, this is gonna be the, the interesting one. Uh, this is N2 minus N1 over N1 R2 times one uh, plus n2 over n1 times n1 minus n2 over n2 r1. And then the last one is, uh, the last element is going to be, what is this? Uh, bottom row times the left column, that's just n1 over n2 times n2 over n1, that's just one. Okay, so we can simplify this a bit. 
and make it look more like a, an actual square matrix. Uh, and we'll get one, zero. And then here the N2s will cancel. So these N2s will cancel and we'll be left with, uh, we can factor everything out, N2 minus N1 over N1 uh, times one over R2 minus one over R1 and then one. And let me move over this zero so that we're an actual square matrix, zero. And so this is our final answer. This is the transfer matrix for the thin lens. And it's not approximate. This is actually equal the transfer matrix for the thin lens. And this quantity here, you might recognize as the lens maker's equation. The lens maker's equation. And indeed, this is one way of deriving it. You can use transfer matrices. And so this will give you the focal length of the lens. Uh, this quantity inside the transfer matrix is actually minus one over the focal length. So we can rewrite the lens transfer matrix as one zero minus one over F one, where one over F uh, you can get from the lens maker's equation equivalently uh, this, this equation right here. And this uh, transfer matrix is probably the single most useful uh, transfer matrix in all of optics. Uh, we'll also derive an expression for the thick lens transfer matrix, but that's not used uh, nearly as much. We can usually approximate lenses as thin lenses. And if we want to relax our approximations, usually we use software uh, because really there's a there's, there's no point in making our hand analysis more complex if we're gonna have to deal with other things like uh, non-paraxial optics, for example. Often, if we want to relax any of our approximations, we'll just want to go straight into using software. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks.